Uh, yeah, tough loss for us today. Um, you know, I could I could take a lot of credit on myself just in terms of um, probably should have changed some things up defensively, especially when Carter was kind of just putting her head down and going. Um, I thought, you know, in the fourth quarter, we didn't um, we didn't keep our composure and play poise and find the right um, the right shots and the right opportunities. And, you know, that's that's more of a reflection on me for not getting us getting us poised. Um, and composed to to be able to find those things. So um, we got to work on getting better, um, not just us as players, me as a coach. So when we get in those situations again, we can we can have a different outcome. Yeah, coach, I just wanted to talk about the ball movement tonight. Yeah. Positive. Yeah, I thought they did a great job, great job of uh, moving the ball, um, especially early on at times. And again, um, we, we're going to need that. You know what I mean? That means everybody was touching it. Everybody had opportunities. Um, when we were playing in transition, I thought our post did a good job of finding cutters um, on the backside tonight. Uh, turnovers kind of get the ugly head again tonight. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think we have to do a better job um, understanding that we want to play fast and we want to play with pace. I think the last three games we've been playing that way fast and with pace, but with that, we still need to be able to take care of the ball. Um, those are opportunities and shots on goal that we're not getting. I mean, we had 68 field goal attempts with 18 turnovers. Take that down to even 10. That's eight more field goal attempts you have, uh, eight more opportunities that you have. Um, and so we have to do a better job of just recognizing we want to play fast. We don't want to be in a hurry. Yeah, I thought the guards did a good job of coming in to help. Um, Tina obviously um, has been big on the boards and continues to be big on the boards. Um, Nas came in and got some rebounds, especially in that, uh, what was it, that, that second quarter, I think, maybe the third quarter um, when she came in, got some big rebounds as well. Um, so we gotta we gotta continue to have that, especially from our post players. But when we play 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 teams like this who are really big on the glass, our guards have to help rebound. Tina, we talked about your leadership all year. Do you stay engaged when you are sitting out on the bench? You were coaching the guys, the girls in the sideline. Just talk about that part of your game. Oh, I, I'm. I mean, speaking to the players that's on the court right. for the sideline. Oh, I'm just speaking up on things that I see. Um, just little things. I don't think it's just me. Um, I think it starts with Nas. I think her role here, she, she's made it a setting where we need to start speaking and holding one another accountable, you know, and, and so I'm just following her lead as well. Uh, I'm still learning from these young guys at the same time. Um, but, you know, we, we have a great communication. It's a great culture here. So it's easy. We have players that want feedback and they're able to receive it. So, so it's, it's easy to do those type of things. Um, Alicia, you were able to pretty much get whatever you wanted offensively tonight. What did you see on the floor? Uh, just being able to, I think me being able to read screens and set up screens has has been big for me. It makes the game a lot easier for me. Uh, I mean, also my teammates have been setting great screens as well to set me up. So I'll just say being able to slow down and, and read my screens better. One other thing that I kind of noticed tonight in close games like this, the missed shots from the line. Also. Yeah, the free throws. I mean, those are gimme points, you know. Um, we got to take our time. And, I mean, Leash missed two tonight. Typically, career-wise, I would say high, high 70s, low 80% free throw shooter. So we just got to take our time. Um, that's just a, you know what I mean, that's a mental thing. We got to take our time, make free throws. One more, I guess. Um, this is coming out just now, but Alicia Gray is my Yeah, yeah. So, Leash, talk to us about what that means to you. Uh, I mean, it's very exciting. Uh, I mean, coming to Atlanta, I always say is the best thing to have to my career. I mean, being here, I've been able to be set up for success, and also being in Atlanta allows me to, like, I just feel free, and, and T just allows me to play and just be free and have fun on the court. So, I say this all the time, but it coming to Atlanta like really revived my career. Um, to piggyback off uh, Megan, Alicia, I've seen people that haven't watched the game before cast a ballot for Alicia Gray for All Star Game. So how does that make you feel? Uh, makes me feel good. I mean, I appreciate it. Uh, I mean, the viewership of the W has has grown, so feels good. 
Mr. Can I also ask you this? You know, you're at Georgiaville, so of course being here is almost like being at home. Do you feel like that contributes to your success here in Atlanta as well? Uh, yes. I mean, I get to see my parents every home game, so that's probably the most exciting thing to me. Where, I mean, I grew up two hours from here in Sanderville, so I think the most exciting thing for me is being able to see my parents at every home game. Thank you for your time. So 